Although I choose minimalist life, I love fashion and style, but not in a suppressive, uber trend or conformist way. Clothes are my magic helpers that protect me and comfort me while giving a sense of wholeness and harmony. If I were to describe my personal style in three words, it would be natural, bohoish, layered. My wardrobe combines second-hand, handmade and fast fashion items, and at the moment I feel pretty happy about it. Although I always want some kind of a creative boost. But as we are on a pretty tight budget now, I can't buy anything just for the sake of refreshing my style. So today I decided to share 5 looks that I found online from brands whose aesthetics I love and to show how I tried to recreate them using the items that I already have in my wardrobe. A little disclaimer, this video was not sponsored by any of the brands mentioned. I just like them and that's all. This look is from a UK clothing brand Olive. I love the effortless and relaxed style, which is so in tune with my own aesthetics. I love the combination of deep red, almost maroon, with light brown, and an accent of white tea that both refreshes the look and binds everything together, like a layer of cream in a cake. So to recreate it, I used my good old black pants. They are cropped at the same height and are just as baggy as the ones in the pic. I don't have a loose white tee, so instead I used my light beige blouse. It's loose and picks out just the way it should. Instead of the knit sweater, I used my dark gray sweatshirt. It has a very similar silhouette. I let the blouse cuffs be seen as I think it looks cool. At the moment I have only one pair of sneakers, they are low, so I decided to wear burgundy socks to add some color and create a high shoe impression. Also I added a pin just for a fun detail. It's a fragment from the painting by Kazimir Malevich. And so the inspired look is ready. This look is not from any brand, I ran across it online and it says it comes from Paris fall winter 18th street style. I tried to do the research to find out who the person is but failed. Here I love the combo of the trench coat and a denim jacket, it's flowy, layered, dynamic and I guess pretty warm and versatile for the fall. I don't have neither a trench coat nor a denim jacket or plaid pants. And to recreate the silhouette, I wear my blue jeans, linen dress, and a corduroy jacket. This look is from a designer and seamstress from St. Petersburg, Nord Bird. I'm a great fan of her works and looks and to tell you the truth, my corduroy jacket and wide-legged linen pants are from her. In this look I love the colors. Grayish olive green and light brownish beige create a peaceful and nature-inspired palette. It's hard to tell whether the model is wearing pants or a skirt, so I used my linen pants, but because it's not that hot outside anymore, I wear leggings underneath. I also wear Brian's flannel shirt that we share from time to time, and for the belt I'm using the fanny pack I've made years ago and used it for keeping the passport and cash during our long travel period. For the shoes I chose Birkenstocks and long cotton socks. They create somewhat of a peasant look and might be controversial for style, but I like it.
This look is from another UK brand, Toast. I like the boxiness and elegant quirkiness of the look. The photo is in black and white, which gives me more freedom in recreating the style. I don't have any matching pants and jackets, so I used my straight-legged boyfriendish jeans, plaid flannel shirt and my corduroy jacket. I am also wearing long socks and instead of sandals, I have Birkenstocks. And here it is, my toast-inspired look. It's comfy, warm and quirky enough. This look is from a Scandinavian brand, uh, New Gordsana. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I love the natural minimalist vibe here. Linen and wool are such a wonderful combo, especially together with the surrounding landscape. Yeah, that brand's lookbooks are a huge source of inspiration for me. Well, I don't have either a linen blouse or a skirt, but I have a linen dress in navy color with the same neckline and slightly dropped shoulders. To finish the look, I wear a merino wool hat that I've knitted not a long time ago. It lacks some depth a bit and I think I will re-knit it soon, but for this look recreation, it looks just enough. What do you think? Recreating styles does not require having exact the same items. It can be a creative experiment when you try to figure out how to make the same silhouette and the overall feeling. I love naturalness, quirkiness and multiple layers. And you? Please share in the comments what's your style and maybe come up with three words to describe it. Thank you so much for watching, dear friends. I hope you enjoy this light-hearted video. I just needed to make one this week. I'm sending you much love and peace. Пока-пока.